Peter Kinghult, six under par. I think there are enough reasons to be satisfied with your round. Yeah, it was a great day out there. I uh, played six under last night, which was, yeah, quite nice. So, yeah, I'm happy with the round. So maybe uh, it could be a successful week for Sweden again? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, last year we won the girls as well, uh, so and it's kind of the same team this year, so we're pretty excited and want to bring the trophy back. So, yeah, we're excited and happy to be here. Chloe, 66. I think this was a really good round for you. Yeah, it was a really good round. Uh, I played very solid. Um, my putting was very, very good. Uh, I made a lot of good putts and and my driving was pretty good too, so it was a good one. <laughs> my team is a good team and we have a good spirit, so um, I think it will be a very good week for us. Uh, I love the course. I played it in 2015. Um, I, it's so beautiful. It's definitely one of my favorites and I, I was really excited to come back knowing that I would get to play it again. You heard about Paula Grant and her hole-in-one? Yeah, my coach came out and told me and I couldn't believe it was 13. Definitely the hardest part three out there, but yeah, uh, drinks on her at the end of the week. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Olivia, and good luck for the next days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Paula, hole in one at hole 13. What happened there? Um, well, I had 204 to the pin, and I knew it was the longest par three of the lot, so I was just trying to hit the green basically. And I hit a hybrid and started off at the pin and just didn't move. And then you can't see the pin from behind the bunker, so I just heard people clapping from beside the green, and I knew it had gone in, so it was a nice hole in one there. Your first hole in one? Uh, first in a competition. I've had a couple like just like practicing, but I've never had one with a card in my hand, so that's nice. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming.